Welcome to Epipedia World. We're going to discuss today about inflorescence flower. When we say inflorescence flower, that is complete flower head of plant including stems, stalks, bracts, and flowers. The arrangement of the flowers on the plants and also the process of flowering. And inflorescence are described by many different characteristics including how the flowers are arranged on the pedicule and the blooming order of the flowers and how different clusters of flowers are grouped within it. These terms are generally representations as plants in nature can have a combination of types. Next, inflorescence is also, also usually have modified shots, foliage different from the vegetative part of the plant. Considering the broadest meaning of the term, any leaf associated with an inflorescence is called a bract. A bract is usually located at the node where the main stem of the inflorescence forms join to the main stem of the plant, but other bracts can exist within the inflorescence itself. They serve a variety of functions, which include attracting pollinators and protecting young flowers according to the presence or absence of bracts, and their characteristics was can distinguish. The fluorescence have its type. First, we have the embracteate inflorescence, meaning there are no bracts in the fluorescence. Also, we have the bracteate inflorescence. It includes bracts in the inflorescence, and this is characterized as very specialized and sometimes reduced to small scales divided or dissected. Next one, we have the leafy inflorescence. Though often reduced in size, the bracts are unspecialized and look like the typical leaves of plants. So the term flowering stem is usually applied instead of inflorescence. And this is not technically correct as despite their normal appearance and these leaves are considered in fact uh, broke so that leafy inflorescence is preferable. Also next we have the leafy bracted inflorescence intermediate between bracte and leafy inflorescence. As you can see in the image we're going to discuss this one by one. First we have the assignment. In assignment the oldest flower terminates the main axis. As you can see in the picture, we have the simple, the compound, and the scorpion simon. Next, we have the umbel, and it is typical inflorescence of the carrot family. Next, we have the corymbed, solitary, spike, racim, Panicle. And next, we have the catkin or armand. On the left side of the picture, you will see the male staminate. And from the white mulberry, a fruitless variety commonly planted as a shade tree in Southern California. On the right side of the picture, you will see the individual male flower containing four stamens and each with an unturned in a filament. At the base of each filament is a fleshy green sepal and male trees are known as fruitless mulberry because they do not produce massive fruits that stain clothing and wall walls. Since mulberries are wind pollinated, male trees reduce or produce corpus pollen which can rise havoc with hay very fever sufferers. Next, this is the female catkin from a variety of black mulberry and mulberry flower are produced in a catkin with male and female catkins on different trees. Male flowers have four stamens while female flowers consist of single pistil slightly and enveloped by four inscospious sepals and each carpel or pistils consists of four can stigma, a short style and a spherical ovary and each ovary becomes tropillate and the rampant 
cluster of droplets. This is also called as multiple fruits. In the agreement, so aggregate fruit of blackberry, all the droplets of the cluster come from a single flower. Seedless partiopic fruits may be produced within pollination or without pollination by male trees. A spike-like inflorescence of unisex while apetalous flowers often pendant and paling as a unit. This is typical inflorescence of willow, salic, cottonwoods, populus, oak, quercus, alders, alnus, and birch betula. All these species belong to a polypelicic group of angiosperm families known as the amentiferae. Next, we have the spindex, or that's also called as a room family, a thick fleshy spike of unisexual spatulous flowers and often surrounded by a V-shaped or funnel-like modified leaf or spatch which is often as brightly colored and the male flowers are typically clustered above the female flowers on an erect palace like spike. This is the characteristic of inflorescence of the iron family. Next, we have the spate, a leaf like bract of shed that envelopes inflorescence and the arum family, and the V shape or funnel like swatch is often brightly colored. And also, because of the stems of the blossom, native to squatrial tropical rainforests of Sumatra, Indonesia, and this amazing plant attracts piles of pollination. At its maximum de development, the spatix may be 8 feet tall, 2.4 meter, with a hodge beast shaped plated spatch over 4 feet and 1.2 meter, and soil and 12 feet or 4 meter in circumference. The deciduous patch of um, inflorescence may be several feet long and quite woody, and in fact, the fallen patches of coconut palms are bald, dried, and waxed to produce a beautiful ball-shaped bowl. Spatch balls from the coconut palm, as you can see in the example, and fallen patches are bald, dried, and waxed to produce this lake's shiny block blows. So thank you for listening to Wikipedia World.